Rise from the ashes, my beautiful naked boy. Okay, we're in this to win it. So, no, no, you, you want, you want the baseball bat, not the meat. Fluffles, okay, now is not the time to beat your meat, no. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And oh my god, it's finally happening. Beneath is finally here. Or not. Okay, I know technically Beneath has been in development for longer than most AAA games, but they are still developing the game. I'm amazed that we are getting any updates for this game at all, and this one actually comes with a lot of really cool stuff. Enemies actually now take fall damage, and the further they fall, the more damage they take. Shockwave doesn't just affect people, it affects bodies and items and props now, which is pretty sweet. Sharp weapons can be stuck into the environment and not just people, but if you want to combine the two, you can do that. Guns now make bullet holes, drinks can now spill, and a whole other laundry list of updates and changes and stuff like that. And I'm always excited to see anything. I wanted to show this to you guys because there's a chance that we might not see all of this this episode. I can't really control what people have put into their levels, but we will be looking at more of the best workshop levels. And for today's episode, I think we've got some pretty interesting ones. Our first level is called Biohazard, and you guys know I am a huge fan of the zombie levels on the workshop, just because they fit so well into this gameplay, and what are you guys looking at? Honestly, you're freaking me out. <laughs> I just got here, and you're staring at me with your cold, faceless faces. Am I the center of the rave right now? Oh, I see. Bit of a zombie problem out there, huh? Got the place barricaded. Okay, that's making a bit more sense. Doesn't really explain the lights, though. Are they epileptic zombies? Is it Pride Month for the zombies? I shouldn't be asking questions. You guys keep an eye out for gay epileptic zombies. I'm gonna go talk to your co-workers. What is it you guys are doing here exactly? Because this looks like a prison. Right? Like... That's just a, a prisoner, that's a human, that's not a zombie, yet you're hazmat. Or maybe SWAT? I'm not entirely sure what your job is, but I definitely know you're not doing it. <laughs> Are you gonna do something about that, dude? You gotta give them more than strongly worded commands, okay? They're gonna burn each other alive. Oh, I see how it is. You're getting paid off to let them burn each other. Weird. Is he a zombie? Is that the problem? Why would they have the doors barricaded and then still be operating this place like it's just a regular prison? <laughs> it should be every human for himself. Can I push your back button there, Vader? I probably shouldn't. You might get mad. Hello, giant knife guy and giant knife guy cronies. <laughs> Listen, I need to have a word face to a face. Oh, come on, how do you smoke through that? I don't get it. I have no idea what's going on here. Other than the fact that that dude spilled his beer, which is a major party foul and a part of the update, and that this place is full of very corrupt people doing corrupt things. So you know what? I'm gonna go join the zombies. They're a pure, simple folk. You guys aren't gonna let me out, are you? Uh, I'll find my own way out. I'm gonna join my people. Don't mind me, hazmat guys. Yeah, you see, these are the typical hazmat guys. Just playing cool with, like, the SWAT hazmat guys. And more drink spilling? What's wrong with you guys? I guess it is kind of hard to drink through a mask. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind if I do. That might come in handy a little bit later. When I find Fluffles getting beaten in the corner. <laughs> Okay, Fluffles, I need your help. I've been looking for my people. I found my people. But I know you're kind of into this thing, so I I'm just gonna let you have your fun for a little bit. I'll be back in a minute. I'm sure there'll be something equally as exciting behind door number two. Uh, what did you guys do? What did you do? Please tell me you didn't give the biggest guy in your squad the virus. Maybe he was just infected and they quarantined him? Kinda like that guy? Oh, that's... that's gonna be a problem. And now you're feeding more of your friends to zombies? What... what is going on here? This place is so weird. Help! 
Yeah, it might be a little bit too late for you, Toothy McGee. And you're not Fluffles, you're a Fluffles imposter. But you don't have the smiley face over your head. He must just be getting deloused, decontaminated. <laughs> Can't have another one of those happening. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You gave him the virus. You turned him into this, and now... What are you, eating it like finger foods? What's wrong with you? I probably should go get Fluffles to help me because I'm gonna need all the help that I could get. But at the same time, I've got two big shells full of help in this shotgun and I wouldn't mind using them against the big guy. Okay, that worked really well. <laughs> Shotguns versus zombies always get the job done. <laughs> what about this? I'm very curious about this button. Oh, okay, that, um... That didn't really work all that well. We got one of three. It's good to see you guys have a lot of fail safes in place just in case stuff goes wrong, as you can see, <laughs> like right now. Oh, it's the big knife guy. It's the big knife guy, and he doesn't have a face. As expected. So strange. I wish you could layer faces in this game. So if you hit somebody's mask, then you would see face. If you hit it again, you see bone underneath it. You can already layer skin on top of bone. That'd be a really cool feature to have in the future. And am I gonna have to dig my way through your skull? What is happening right now? Bit of a tough cookie, huh? I should probably go help Fluffles. Actually, I don't have time for this. Where is he? You okay, Fluffles? Get out of the way, I got friends to save. No, 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 I'm too late. You were avenged, Fluffles. <laughs> I found a katana and it works so well and I'm still not sure why you're covered in yellow and brown, but you know what? Whatever you're into, bud, you, you died happy, I suppose. <laughs> Wonder if, no, zombies haven't broken through? Turns out the guards weren't really doing that good of a job anyway. So we only have a bunch of random little dudes left, right? And I should be able to cut through them fairly easily. I'll get your shield out of here. Oh, my katana. Wait, 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 wait. The big guy, the big guy had a big knife, right? Big guy, big knife? Oh, I'll just take this one. Yeah, that works. You know what, imposter? You're the new Fluffles, okay? That's how it's gonna work, okay? When one Fluffles falls, another Fluffles rises. It's like the Fluffles Phoenix. <laughs> I wanna try out the new shockwave. Boosh! I like that. Everybody takes a little bit of damage bouncing off the walls, and uh, is that a hand? Oh, the hand is returned to its owner. Well, that's good. The prisoners don't seem all too happy about what's going on in here, though. So, hey, hey, Fluffles don't start with me. Everybody's just kind of fighting in here. Shouldn't you guys be fighting the guards? That's another thing. I wish you could program teams into this game a little bit better. So that, like, the prisoners would fight the guards, the zombies would fight everybody, everybody would fight the zombies. You, sh you shouldn't just have a, a melee breakout. Rise from the ashes, my beautiful naked boy. Okay, we're in this to win it. So, no, no, you, you want, you want the baseball bat, not the meat. Fluffles, okay, now is not the time to beat your meat. No, oh my God, you make everything difficult. And I know that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna accidentally hit you. I'm going to accidentally hit you with my katana on a follow through, so take the baseball bat, okay? No, not the meat, every freaking time with your meat, Fluffles. We've been over this. <laughs> Fun time is over, okay? No touching the dancer, boys, okay? When she's up on the table doing her job, you, you stop it. Hey, 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 rude. Oh, it's the big guy. Oh, that's bad. That is definitely not good. What happened to Fluffles? Dude, really? This is what happens when you try to hit people with a stake. You, you fall over and piss yourself. I just did a front flip. What if I take this stake from you and then we just put it over there, out of sight, out of mind, and then uh, we just, eh, there we go, okay. There we go, get a whip, get a whip, whatever what you nunchuck, there you go, that's what I'm talking about. You can hit somebody with a nunchuck way harder than a stake. Watch, you see how much more effective that is? Now, I need you to do the same thing except for against these guys because they're real, s not now, Fluffles. Okay, get, get up, Fluffles, the big zombie is here. Fluffles, feel free to come out and help at any time. People are dead. Fluffles? What, what, what the? How did he die? I just left him here. He even found the stake again. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You're the most useless partner ever. I've heard the big guy's allergic to bullets. Holds up. Yeah, I, I don't think an EpiPen's gonna save him from that one. 
Okay, can I please just beat this level? This isn't even a big level. I really enjoy it though. I like little levels. I say it over and over again, but like the fact that people can make small, interesting levels is just way better than a big level that doesn't load. Give me the shotgun. Of course it's not loaded. I don't get it. There's apparently one person left, but I can't find someone. Okay, okay. Well then, I guess shotguns didn't matter all that much to you. <laughs> that was genuinely terrifying. There you go. See so you get up from that. I'm leaving this place. Our next level is called Zombie Jungle. And I'm not seeing any zombies or jungle right now, but a good machete would solve both. So we're just gonna take you and head out into whatever this disaster is. <laughs> There's a whole lot of weird stuff happening over here. Um, guys, what happened? I went to take a nap and get my machete and oh, oh, okay. Yep, I guess my friends are just going to pound town against the zombies. Where did a jungle zombie get a frying pan? These are the questions that need to be asked. Well, the good news is they're very weak, as you would expect. They're all falling apart and a uh, little moldy and oh, that was my favorite machete. Hey, 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 no, that, that's my frying pan now. <laughs> did to kill one of my friends? Ah, oh, why is it that the friends in these zombie games are always useless? Oh, okay, a little bit stronger than I thought. Well then, we just keep exploring this zombie jungle. What is all this? Ancient MS Paint ruins? I have no idea. There's a zombie hitting another zombie with a microphone. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna get a shovel and get to work. Does that zombie have a beard and a chair? What? No, don't get too close to him, friend. He, he looks unhinged and very strong, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> yup, that was definitely what I told him not to do. Um, I don't have any more weapons. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Um, he, okay. He had a bottle in his face and took two shots to the tits and it just didn't matter. So there are 71 zombies and now one friend left. Because the second Larry got an opportunity, he murdered everybody else. Larry, you traitor. I always knew you would turn on us. 71 zombies and zero friends. That's that's just great. The zombies seem to be fighting among themselves, which is a, a bit of a positive. Where'd Larry's weapon go? Yeah, I'll just take this, the, the friend murderer. Yeah, we got Blackbeard zombie here who's probably not gonna go down without a fight. Yep. Zombies don't like shovels, right? It kind of reminds them of where they came from. Hey, there we go. Little inner zombie bits. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you get right up close, oh, well, not in that one because he doesn't have a face, but the ones with faces are just terrifying. These models are gonna get used all the time. And that's the thing, I know some people may be getting tired of zombie levels, and I don't blame you. I'm looking forward to playing other levels as well. But because the zombies were one of the first to be put on the workshop, Creators have kind of had the most time with it. So we're seeing a whole lot of zombie levels come out while people are still working on other things. Did you see me with a martini glass Afro zombie? Rude. Which of you zombies were getting swole? Was it you? I can, oh, I could tell. You definitely were putting on the gains and now not so much. Can zombies get muscle mass? I don't think they grow. Not entirely sure though. There are obese zombies, but I feel like they come from obese people. Ooh, I don't know. Who left me this little pile of goodies, but I'll take it. <laughs> Someone left me a machete, a shotgun, a bottle of beer, and a bottle of whiskey, and a stack of money. Was this what Larry wanted? That's definitely what he wanted. He wanted to steal it for himself. I'm also kind of curious why Blackbeard Zombie had a small home office up here, but I, I guess we won't get to ask him since, you know, he's, well, with the rest of the zombies now. What the? Oh, I have another friend. Okay, hold on. We'll get to that friend in just a second. Just wanna make sure there are no more meaty little slaps happening out here. No, nice and quiet. And I think I saw a katana, which I might be able to get. Yeah, definitely better than a shotgun. Actually, why don't we take the shotgun? We'll throw it over. What's this? Is that where I'm going? I think that's where I'm going just in case I need to go get that. So there's some kind of upper cavern and a lower one. Can I get a surprise attack if I go through the upper one? What if I do something like this? What if we parkour, parkour? Maybe not. 
I don't know the purpose of this cavern and I can't get up there and honestly, I don't care anymore. Okay, I'm here to save you. I'm here to save all of you, my friends. They must have been in here doing other things. Larry was gonna get to them too, no doubt. <laughs> Holy crap, the katana is unreal. This is ridiculous. Why do I have so many pirate friends? Oh guys, don't, don't be like that, okay? Don't start. Is this the one that's alive? No, it's this one. Good. Are we all not gonna hit each other? I know Fred, okay? I know you really wanna kiss right now, but can you just get out of my face? Jeez. Lovely open shirt and beautiful lips. <laughs> but I've got other interests. Where are you guys going? Shouldn't there be zombies in here somewhere? Are they having a PowerPoint presentation? What's going on? Yeah, there are more zombies in the back. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get them. They were just having a cookout, I guess. I'm very confused. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet the infection got to our little bandit camp. That's how things started. And this is probably, yeah, this is where that little hole was leading to. Interesting. So, I think we're good? That looks like certain death, I wanna say. Probably shouldn't go down there just yet. You hear that? Meet little squishes? Something's going on somewhere, hold on. Definitely something going on somewhere, friends. Oh, I see how it is. You're not my friend anymore. You wanna pull a Larry? Yeah, you're all fighting each other. How could you? I was gonna give you kisses. Not anymore. Not anymore. Can I leave now? Is this how I leave? This is probably how I fall through the map. Decided against falling through the map, I would like to actually beat a level relatively quickly today. 71 zombies, actually probably like 60 zombies and 11 stupid friends. Bad news. I either got the zombie infection or came down with jungle fever, but now I'm on the highway to hell, so let me just get my guitar. We're gonna have a sweet guitar solo here any second now, right as soon as I get through Blackbeard. Excuse me, pardon me, out of the way. I can't hear my smushing of you, and then I'll take that, thank you very much. So, he hit me once, and that was over half my health. Why do you have a giant sword if you have boxing gloves? I can't kick anybody. So what's up? Woo, what's the use of all this fire? It's not any good, right? Oh, I'm just like marching my way down. <laughs> These guys better not get stronger. I don't. Okay, so much for that theory. They are definitely not getting stronger. <laughs> you have a pimp cane and you're dead. I'll take the pimp cane. Make some heads explode. What do you have to say? Right, Mr. Boss, Mr. Boss, man, I got the zombie infection, I got jungle fever, the only cure is the inside of your face holes. Come on, I gotta keep dodging back. I'm gonna have to use every weapon I have found so far to get through you, aren't I? Oh, this is brutal. I wish I could just kick him into the fire and be done with it, right? I guess when you're already in hell, it doesn't really have the same effect. Gotcha, no Satan. No demons, no tortured souls, just walking into the blue abyss. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna give this a three on Yelp. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And as expected, I don't think we saw many of the update features. Like some people might have taken collision damage when I bounced them off of walls using Shockwave, and I think we saw some drink spill, but it's not things that you would necessarily notice, but I feel like they deserve some recognition. You know, I'm really happy that they're still developing the game. They're introducing lots of new stuff, which is important. Otherwise, I would get bored of it. But right now, as long as they keep adding new stuff and the workshop keeps pumping out new content, I don't think I'm ever gonna get bored of this game. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.